Okay. Hey guys, it's Dan from the Vape Out Podcast. Uh, we had some technical difficulties today with our podcast. Uh, our mic shorted out and it just it was bad news. But uh, we did have a winner for our giveaway, which was Andrew Yoder. If you could get a hold of us within 72 hours, we'll get you the juice out there. We'll get all the information from you that we need when you when you contact us. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and go into my review today. I have a review on a Kennedy RDA. And uh, since we didn't have a podcast to show up for you guys, I'm sorry. But we're just going to do this. So today I have the Kennedy RDA. And I like and hate this mod or atomizer at the same time. And there, there's a Brian. Hey, Brian. <laughs> You're freaking me out, man. Gary's mic broke. Not my fault. Yeah, I know. And our mic went out halfway through the podcast. We had a really good podcast, too. And, uh... Dollar Store Batteries. <laughs> dollar Store Batteries. So, yeah. I'm just going to get right down to it. This is a very clean RDA. They did a very good job at making it. Um, it's made by a company called Kennedy Enterprises. And as you can see, the top cap's very clean. It's a two-piece cotton top cap with a, with a drip tip on it. I can't pull it out for some reason because that O-ring in the inside is ridiculous. But um, they did do a copper center post. And the design of this atomizer is unique to this atomizer. And you're being a creeper, right? Yeah. So basically they designed this to be a mixture between flavor and cloud comp. Please don't do that. Oh my god. So this is a chuff style cap. Uh, it's a obviously a little bit bigger than the normal drip tip. Uh, it's a 22 millimeter atomizer. The air flows from the bottom of the coils, from the actual bottom of the atomizer. Uh, let's see if I can get this part real quick. If you can see that, all the air flow, flow th comes through the bottom up to the coils on the inside. Uh, the one thing I didn't like about it, which is my con for it, was the airflow is kind of limited when it comes to cotton and wicking. You're kind of blocking off some of the airflow from the coil when you when you wick the atomizer, but uh, that just means you have to learn a new way of wicking for it and maybe try to perfect it. Um, overall, it's you know, like I said, I like and hate this at the same time. It does give good flavor, it does give good clouds, but it's not my favorite atomizer, particularly. It's stainless steel constru construction with the top, uh, the copper top cap. And then uh, on top of that, the juice well is actually pretty fantastic. Surprisingly, I know that a lot of people were concerned about having leakage issues when it comes to the airflow design, but I have not really had this atomizer leak on me. Um, they design it in a way to where it, it only covers where the coils sit. So yeah, if you if you drip onto the coils and it drips under the coils, it's probably going to go into the airflow holes. But at the same time, when you draw on it, all that juice from the inside of the airflow holes is going to come back up at the coil anyways. So normally you don't really have much leakage issues. Uh, obviously, let's see, they got two O-rings here. And this top cap fits very snug. And... I like it a lot when it comes to that. 100% um, California cotton. <laughs> lead-free copper. It has lead-free copper. That's fantastic. 303 stainless. I'm all sorts of... Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm burnt out right now. Alright, I'm going to vape on it a couple times see what you guys think. I need to drip. Um, overall, I'm gonna have to go with like an eight out of 10 on this, just because I like how they did the airflow, but at the same time, I wish they could have done it a little bit differently so it covers more of the coil surface space instead of getting overrun by cotton, which it's relative to however you build. Bam. Much better. So, 
on that note, thank you for watching my review. I know it's not the best review in the world, but this is like my first time doing it. So thank you for watching and Vapor's gonna vape.